I'm sailing onboard Princess Cruises. Does anyone know if they offer additional storage outside the cabin? That's the 11th question we're going to answer today in this series of sailor support. So, whether you're a first-time cruiser or a seasoned sailor, come aboard with us as we help you navigate the choppy waters of the cruise line industry and answer your burning questions from around the world. I'm taking a 10-day Alaskan cruise on Ruby Princess with my wife and 14-month-old son. We will probably have three pieces of luggage, given our need to pack layers for the weather, formal attire for formal nights, all our other clothes, and all the numerous things we need for our son. Does Princess Cruise Line offer an option to hold on to your empty luggage until the end of the cruise? We are looking to prevent any additional clutter in our room. No. Space is a pretty precious commodity on board. Having your steamer trunks taken away for storage went out with white tie and throwing confetti off the ship at sail away. That said, we don't travel light. Two hard side Pullmans, two rollerboards, two backpacks, and a rolling duffel, and it all works. The empty suitcases just go under the bed. Some have to go open and flat. Most will go close. You may need to ask the steward to remove the spare linens that sometimes get bagged and stored under there. That gets four of our five big ones out of the way. There's also space in the end of the closet area adjacent to the shelves. Stowing three suitcases and carry-ons so they can't be seen is incredibly doable. Enjoy your trip. Luggage goes under the bed on most cruise lines. Do not take a large stroller or car seat because there will be no room. Ask for a pack-and-play rather than bringing one. In short, no, the cruise line does not provide extra storage. Bring less than you think. A packable puffer and thin layers, including lawn underwear, is great. Formal is not really that formal. Do a wash in the laundry or bring the travel wash and rinse in the sink. The shower has a clothes hanger. I've been on Ruby, and it has a huge open closet. You can definitely put luggage bags there or under your bed. As others said, under the bed. Nothing outside the cabin. Also, just an FYI, unless you love getting super dressed up, you no longer need formal clothes for formal nights. It's a wide range from casual pants with polos to full-on tuxes and gowns, but most are in the middle. For example, nice checkies and a polo or sports shirt for men and nice pants with a nicer top or casual dress for women. It saves some room in the suitcase if you don't need a suit and a long dress. We were on the Ruby Princess in June. There were three of us in the cabin. We had three large roller bags, three carry-ons, and a garment bag. My daughter and I unpacked our stuff in the cabinet just alongside the closet and stashed our bags under the bed. My husband left his bag in the closet. There was actually plenty of room to store everything and stay organized. Laundry services are available on board, self and full service. Family of four packed for five days, 10 day Alaska, and sent clothes out for service twice. Walked off the boat with clean clothes in our suitcases. Granted we had a suite, so it was complimentary, but have done similar on the self-service laundry units. Now, it's your turn to weigh anchor and speak your mind. What's your verdict on the storage situation aboard Princess Cruises? Ever been in a tight squeeze with your luggage or discovered an unexpected nook for your knickknacks? Drop anchor in the comments below and let's keep the conversation going. Until next time. That's all for now, sailors. Make sure you are subscribed to our channel. Hit the like button on this video and we'll see you next time sailing on the high seas.